My name is George, I'm from 1600.io. Let's see how fast we can do the math from Digital Practice Test 3, Module 1. A bus traveled at a constant speed, equation equals 30t distance and t seconds. How many feet after two seconds? So plug in two for t, 30 times two is 60. Traveled 60 units. Align the xy plane at slope of 1 9th, 1 9th x, and passes through the point 0, 0,14, that's the y-intercept. So 1 9th x plus 14 is gonna be d. Uh, x over 8 equals 5, what's the value of 8 over x? Just invert it, you know, uh, reciprocal. 8 over x then is 1 over 5. Uh, triangle ABC and DEF are congruent, so they're the same. Here's my beautiful picture, right angles. Um, we have B and E are right angles. A corresponds to D, F, okay. So uh, angle A is equal to 18, so what's the angle F? Well, we know angle D is 18. 18 plus 90 plus F is gonna have to add up to 180 degrees. So 18 plus what angle adds up to 90? 72. Uh, what's equivalent to this horrible mess? Well, let's group terms, same exponent rules. M to the fourth times M to the first is really M to the fifth. There's only one answer choice that is M to the fifth, it has to be B. Uh, box and whiskers, which of the following statements is true? We're talking about with A and B, the mass, the mean, I, I should say. Uh, means are not in box and whisker plots, so we only have to be dealing with uh, C and D. Uh, the median of group one is bigger than the median of group two. The median of one is better than two. Uh, we have a system here, what's the value of x? Set them equal to each other. So we get 76 equals x squared minus five, add five to the other side, so it really becomes 81 equals x squared. So what's the possible value of x? x equals plus or minus nine. Uh, estimate a proportion of a population sample they found the mean was 0.49, margin of error of 0.04. So that means that it can be as high as 0.53 or as low as 0.45 reasonably in the population. So it's plausible the pop proportion is between those two values. The other ones don't make any sense. Um, we have a system here, they, uh, they're lines. They both have the same slope but different y-intercepts. That means that they are parallel, they never will intersect. They have zero solutions. Uh, we have two points, uh, let's find the slope. 34 minus two is 32, eight minus zero is eight. 32 over eight is four, the slope of this line is four, only one answer has a slope of four. X, Y equals four. So 24 over N, X over Y is really equal to four, equals four. Divide both sides by four, we get 24 over N equals one. N has to be equal to 24. Uh, we have a line here, Y equals, you know, B minus MX or whatever. So we have volume and we have draining. Draining, uh, how much is draining per second? Realize this is the slope. Slope is given by change in volume over change in time, and that's gonna be negative four over one. So we're, um, every second we're losing four milliliters. So that's gonna be the answer. Each year, an initial investment increases by 49% every year. So we're compounding, we're taking the principal amount, we're multiplying by 1.49 to some T power. That's exponential growth, C. Uh, we have two lines here. What's the value of y? Let's get rid of x. So multiply the second equation by negative four. Negative 24 minus four y equals uh, 72 times two is 140, 288, negative. So I just rewrote the second equation. Add the two equations straight down, 24x. So we get rid of the x's. So we're gonna get negative three y equals negative 240. So y equals positive 80. Uh, we have a parabola here. What value of x does the value of y reach its minimum? We just need to find the x value of the vertex. x value of vertex is negative b, so negative 14 over two times a, or two times one. So negative 14, negative, negative 14 is really equal to seven. Negative, negative 14 over two is seven. The function is defined by this, the line, uh, x-intercept of this and a y-intercept of this. So we already know what the y-intercept is because they say the y-intercept is 28. So we know that uh, b is 28. So now we just need to figure out what a is equal to. Plug it in. Um, zero is equal to four a plus 28 negative 28 equals 4a, a must be equal to negative seven. So uh, what's the value of 28 minus seven? 21, what's the value of a plus b? Square a is side lengths that are, so we have that are 166 times the side length of b. So square b has a side length, let's call it x. Square a has a side length of 166 times x. What's the, the area of square a is k times the area of square b. Well, the area of square b is x squared. This is gonna be 166 x squared. So that's gonna be 166 times 166. So it's gonna be 27,556 times the area of square B. So that's gonna be the answer. The scatter plot shown two variables, X equals 25. So it looks like each one of these tick marks is two units, or excuse me, one unit. So that means that 24, 25. So in the middle of between 25 and 26, it looks like it's gonna have a Y value a little bit greater than eight. So that's gonna be C. Uh, from the line of best fit. The measure of angle R is two thirds pi, measure of T is five 
pi over 12 radians greater than. So we know this is going to be 2 pi over 3 plus 5 pi over 12. 2 pi over 3, we can really re rewrite that, multiply top and bottom by uh, 4. It's going to be 8 pi over 12. So this is really going to be 13 pi over 12. So now we need to convert this to degrees. You multiply that by pi uh, by 180 over pi. Um, 12, 180 divided by 12 is 15. 15 times 13 is 195. It's the answer C. Scientists initially measures 12 bacteria, four hours, it doubled, okay? And we have this relationship, so it's like 12,000 times two to the RT. So we need to figure out, okay, when T was equal to four, we have to figure out what the R value is gonna be so that this entire exponent is equal to one. Because that's finally after four hours when we've doubled from 12,000 to 24,000. So in other words, we need to know R times four has to be equal to one. So R has to be equal to one fourth um, B. So we have this chaos, uh, we just square both sides, we're going to get x minus 2 squared equals, well, let's multiply that out, x squared minus 4x plus 4 equals 3x plus 34, that's after we square both sides, subtract 3x, so x squared minus 7x, subtract 34 minus 30 equals 0, this factors to x minus, x plus 3, x minus 10, so what's the smallest solution? x would have to be equal to negative 3, that's the smallest solution. Uh, x minus, okay, so you know what, I see there's a mi x minus 21 term here and x minus 29 term here. I'm going to subtract the x minus 29 from the left side. So we're going to get x minus a minus 1, x minus 29 equals 0. So what are going to be the solutions? Um, x is going to be equal to 29, that's one value, or a, a is a solution, so a when a is equal to 29. Um, or so solution, and when x is equal to 29. When x equals 29 and when x is equal to a plus 1. So it's going to be 2 and 3 only.